In this video, I'm going to be talking about part two of what makes an effective defense in Madden 23. We're going to be continuing on our defensive series. I'm going to be showing you how to build one of the best defenses in the game in a relatively short amount of time. Now, the key to the defense is the overarching key to defense is adjustments, knowing how to fix your defense. We're going to talk a little bit about that today as far as our second component to an effective defense. If you're, we're taking a look at the 46 playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, Join the Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my ebooks and updates. That is only $10. For $10, you get access to everything. We've got over 20 different offensive and defensive ebooks. But we're talking about how I would go about building an effective defense out of a defense that I've never ran before. Dime Normal is an example of this. And today we're talking about coverage. Um, coverage or adjustments is super, super important. So yesterday we talked about the importance of having a really good blitz. Dime normal, and we talked a little bit about this yesterday, is if you blitz off of this left side, specifically against Bunch, and you stand about right here, you got a pretty good chance at getting consistent edge pressure at the quarterback. And you might only need to send five or four players to get that pressure. Now, today what we're going to try to do is show you a great little coverage defense around this. What does a good coverage defense look like? And this is where in our audibles I'm going to show you what I believe to be one of the best, best coverages um, in the game, and that is the cover one robber press. It's going to look very similar to the DB Blitz, um, but it's going to be just a little different. So if I come out in DB Blitz, uh, you see it looks like this. If I audible to cover one robber, I'm going to pinch my defense. You're going to see, by and large, it looks fairly similar. Now, all we're going to do with this is we're going to blitz our user. And then what I like to do uh, on this left side is we're going to put this safety in man coverage onto the tight end. And then we're going to take the left side and we're going to essentially turn that into a cover three. So what we've done is we have significant coverage over on the left, and then we're able to user the right side, essentially. And then if we want a robber defender, all we're going to do is we're going to bluff blitz that defensive tackle that is in the right side um, or in the in, over the right guard. And what you're going to see here is this is a very basic little coverage defense, and you have to have that. What is your base coverage defense look like? And what I like to do is actually answer that question in a couple of different ways. What is my base man coverage? Well, my base man coverage is to go to cover one robber. Now, from cover one robber, how can I turn this cover one robber coverage into a zone defensive look? Actually, fairly simple. All we're going to do is we're going to outside third both of these guys, and then we're going to take both of our slot corners, and we're going to drop those guys into curl flat zones, just like so. And then maybe we want to drop a defensive lineman here into a vertical hook, or you know whatever we want it to look like, right? So you can kind of see how we're turning our man coverage into a cover three. Now they set up man beaters and they're gonna throw into you know zone. That is kind of the idea. We want every defense to make it make. We want to make every defense look the same as much as we possibly can. So another thing that I like to look for is does my defense have the ability to play match coverage, right? Because I think match coverage is one of the best ways to play defense in this game. And we see here that they have a cover four quarters. So what I could do is I could come out of my DB Blitz, I audible to cover four quarters, pinch my defense. For the most part, this looks fairly similar. And then we're going to now run our cover four quarters system. So we can now run our match coverage system here. Really effective, very simple adjustment. We're going to bluff blitz that right side of the screen defensive tackle. We're going to put this guy on the right side on a deep half. This is going to help us defend any of the deep bombs that Bunch is going to have in this game. And then as you can see right here, now we have the ability to stop, you know, kind of your standard little... Uh, post corner or um, corner route meta over here, you know, bunch has a or this has a great little box check uh, within it. So that's an example of how do I take my defense and have a man coverage defense, a zone coverage defense, and a match coverage defense. I like to have all three of those uh, in a defense if I possibly can. Not every defense is going to have that, but the big takeaway here is what does your coverage scheme look like? What are your base coverage adjustments? 
and then as you go throughout a game on the defensive side of the ball, you will then tweak those based off of what they're doing. What formations are they running? What routes are they attacking you with? What coverage is giving them the most trouble? Because you can play somebody that runs bunch, and they're really good at beating main coverage, but they're terrible at beating zone, so then you would run and want to run more zone. Or you could play somebody that's running um, gun bunch, and they're really, really good at beating match coverage, and they're great at beating zone coverage, but they really suck at beating man coverage, right? How do you how do you call what gives them the most trouble? Uh, which leads me to kind of my last point here, which is you need to have some kind of variation of these defenses um, where you can kind of create the same pre-snap look. Uh, it's very, very important that you are able to make it look the same. I can't stress that enough. That is one of the most important tips that I can give you on the defensive side of the ball. If you can, by and large, make everything. Maybe that just means something as simple as this. We're going to base the line and press every single time, and then we're going to back these guys off. Maybe it's simple as that because if you watch, watch me audible to cover four, for the most part, if I press, nothing nothing really looks that different, okay? Um, the play that I want to here is cover two man. The only reason is because I wanted to show you this is a shaded down man coverage look. I think this is a really good defense. Um, you can cross man this tight end, and what will happen a lot of times is is if you run that cross band, he won't get dumbed out as bad over the middle, and he can kind of lurk the tight end routes. Um, so these are some little tr little tricks uh, that you can take to make your defense better. One of the little secret hidden gems of Dime Normal is manning up that defensive end on the right on the tight end. I think that is one of the very subtle things we can actually do in this year's game, in a game where it has you know really uh, several linebackers that can cover. You can put a really good pass rush or a really good linebacker down there that has pick artist or lurker, and he can cover that tight end in the space. So anyways, you need to have a coverage defense. What is your go-to coverage adjustments? Those are questions you have to answer. We've answered a lot of questions. We've answered a lot of that for you in all of my defensive eBooks. And if you want to get access to those eBooks, head down to the description and go check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.